Hello, my name is Belle and I was lucky enough to attend a Blackpink concert last weekend. I know, I know. What a sentence to say it out loud. And I thought maybe it would be nice to share my experience with you guys. So I did a little bit of a login and I'll tell you guys how I got my ticket, how the concert was to experience it, you know, all that good good stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. I currently live in Korea but I do not live in Seoul as of now so I had to like actually travel from one city to another to attend the concert. Literally black pink outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and when I got there like I was already late. By late I mean like three hours prior to the concert. There was this long ass line like I don't know it must be like something huge something phenomenal. But it was just like a poster to take a picture with and there were like at least 200 people lining there. I don't even think like half of those people knew what they were lining for because if you're at the way far back like you don't know what you're actually lining for. If you ever attend a concert get there as early as possible especially if you have a membership because they give you like free stuff because you have a membership. But the ID check-in did not really have any line, it was very organized, they had a lot of staffs there, you didn't have to wait for too long. I'm actually seeing Blackpink, now it feels real, only now. And the concert finally began. They opened the concert with How You Like That. Oh boy, do they know how to open a concert? It was so powerful. You know how like when you have like a huge goosebumps, you would like get tears in your eyes. That happened to me. I was crying when How You Like That played, which I was so surprised at. Like my tears were like running down my cheeks and I was like, what is happening? Why am I crying? And they went on with the powerful songs and it was so good. I actually quite liked the set list. <laughs> Also the stage setup was really good. They had like this various types of stage decoration that really made sense. Like you can like literally tell your girls are rich. You can smell it almost. And their outfits were also so fucking good. Jenny's outfits, oh my god. That red boots, she can walk all over me. I do not mind. And also the band and the backup dancers were so good. I feel like they like really elevated the concert atmosphere. So professional they knew what they were doing the energy the talent they had the flavor it was so good now let's talk like member to member how should you go about this let's go with age let's start with jisoo jisoo oh my god <laughs> that woman like you know that she's beautiful but when you see her this must be the face that like God had in her mind when she like first created human. We were just like drafts for human beings. <laughs> Beautiful. She like, you can tell like her face has, has like perfect symmetry. Like even if you're not good at geometry, you can tell that, okay? And she just has this really like elegant atmosphere around her. She's just, she gets it. Also her solo performance was so good but i kept thinking to myself like she better release a solo like soon because she got the material the red dress she was in oh my gosh and at one point her voice cracked a bit like very noticeably but she still like carried on the rest of the song without really like making that a huge deal i think she deal dealt with that really professionally i thought that was really nice and hopefully she'll get to release her like solo song soon so she can also sing her song Next, we have Jenny. That woman, oh, she was born to be on stage. She has that like stage presence. She just has that like aura to her, like the it girl aura. She has it, no doubt about it. She knows how to like hype up the concert. Like I could tell like from the beginning of the concert, I was like, oh my God, Jenny's not here to play because she was spitting when she was rapping. And 
her voice is very stable. Overall, like all of their voice is very stable actually. Especially Rose, oh my gosh, her voice. Chef's kiss. Okay, back to Jenny. But the thing about Jenny is that either she's just like giving it all or she's just like walking on the stage. You know what I mean? Sometimes I feel like looking at the other members and like see them dancing, literally like popping it. And then my eyesight will shift to Jenny and Jenny's just like doing this. <laughs> that happened to me like two times during the concert and I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is how all that mess started. She actually like does that sometimes, but most of the time when she is like giving it, you can't really complain about those like five to three seconds. It's phenomenal. Her solo was so good. It just has that Jenny material and I thought the song was so catchy like even after just listening to it like one time the melody will like stay with you. And she's actually really cute too like when she's just like talking and just like running around the stage she's really cute like cute. Next Rosé. Oh my gosh. My bias is Rosé so I was dying. Um, I actually cried when Heart to Love started because first of all I love that song and also I had goosebumps because she started that song without any like backtrack vocals or any instruments it was just her raw vocal oh my God. it sounded so good I was like oh my god is this heaven is this like what you get to hear when you go to heaven Rose gives her all 100% of the time she's an artist you can like literally see how much love she has for music I thought that was so inspiring and so amazing to see not only she enjoys herself you can also tell that she's putting like so much effort to let the audience also enjoy what she's doing and she cried when she was doing her ment she's she's precious she's just oh god and her vocals are crazy no doubt about it and it sounds even better live very smooth and i don't know how to explain it it was just so good and then lisa the pole dancing i was not prepared for that i was so surprised when it happened like i was almost on the floor i was making like inhuman sounds okay it was embarrassing This meme was just me throughout the whole Blackpink concert. Like literally, this is me. Her body proportions are crazy. Like. How are you built like that? Her dance moves are always, always so clear, so fluid, but also like very sharp at the same time, which really amazed me. It was, and she's also very professional when she's performing, but she's very cute as well when she's not performing. But when she is performing, like all of that is gone. She's so charismatic. She just knows how to dominate the whole stage. Speaking of the audiences, I feel like Korean people are like too polite for me. I would expect people to like scream, but they were so quiet. Like even for the fan chants, it wasn't as loud as I expected it would be. Like I was busting my lungs out the whole time. I was like, why am I the only one who's popping her pussy? I do want people to be polite, but like I also want to see like how you actually feel, you know? Oh no. Oh, and also there was this like surprise event where the audiences were supposed to sing stay. <laughs> we sang the song for like three times and none of it was perfect. <laughs> people would start singing here and then like five seconds after people would start there and people just like giggling because it's like all of them are so unserious. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this video but when these people were filming this I was like five steps behind them. I saw them doing this and I was like, maybe I am a bad person. 
that should have been me i'm happy for you but that should have been me like when is my turn but then again like i also got to see them from very up close i was shaking i was like physically shaking when they come near i did not even know that like i had that in me because i usually don't really get nervous that often i ran to the side that they were coming in which was probably not legal but i did it anyways it was rose who came first and i was like i would risk it all for you girl i do not care it was really close it was really close like i could actually like see them you know and i think at one point i did meet like a little like split seconds of like eye contact with jenny crazy crazy lisa and jisoo were so cute they were so sweet they stayed in front of us for a really long time they were waving to us and i kept screaming their names and i even screamed like Anni, which i did not even know like that existed in me like i was a whole different person for like 10 minutes and then i sat down after that and i was like what was that <laughs> what just came out of me it made me wonder like if i ever go to a boy group concert am i going to scream <laughs> no right hopefully not it was like a self-discovery my seat was actually a really decent seat yeah about the ticket thing let's talk about the ticketing now i couldn't actually get the ticket from the official website because it got sold out so quick so i decided not to go but then like exactly a week before the concert i was like maybe i should I look for tickets from another place and i went to this app ticket bay they mostly had uh, the second floor tickets which is like the way far back or floor ones and the floor ones were so expensive because it's reselling tickets it's usually more expensive than the original ones but there was only one first floor ticket that was for 270,000 won, and that's the ticket that i purchased but i'm pretty satisfied with the price and the ticket um considering how nice of a seat it was i got to see four of them from very up close and made like possible eye contact with two of them so i'm good <laughs> i'm not sure about this app because i've never purchased ticket from here before so i can't really say if it's like 100 percent credible all the time but mine worked this time and overall i would say it was worth the price it was worth the experience worth the time it was nice they were like little mistakes like the jesus voice crack i think jennifer get to seeing her part for like three seconds and there was a little bit of like choreo mistakes here and there but but overall it wasn't that noticeable and it also didn't really like take away that much from the concert so yeah that is my experience of going to a blackpink concert and hopefully you guys will also will be able to get a ticket for the upcoming blackpink concerts you'll get to see them as well so yeah bye bye i will see you guys with a different vlog next hopefully why is my phone oh <laughs> okay <laughs>